Hello friends. In this week's marketing video, I'm going to talk about the difference between comments and likes on status updates on LinkedIn. And I think a lot of people don't understand the real impact and what the difference is between a like and a comment on LinkedIn, because I still see people clicking the easy button of the like or reaction applause or whatever it is, instead of actually saying something when they see a client or a friend or whatever post a status update on LinkedIn. So let me walk you through both scenarios so that it'll make total sense of why comments are so much more powerful than a like. When you go through your status updates and you spin through 10 or 12 of them, click a few likes, that activity is lumped in with all of the other reactions that that person might be getting on that post. And so they won't get an email from LinkedIn or anything like that. They might say, hey, people are interacting with your post. You've had 20 reactions or something like that. But they're not going to know necessarily unless they really dig in and click on the reactions to see that you personally reacted. And if you think about it, the idea of us interacting on LinkedIn is basically to say a virtual hi to your friend or your client or your prospect or whatever. So think about how much more powerful it is if that same update, when you scroll down, if you click comment and add some text and then post that comment, what happens is LinkedIn will then send that person an email that says, hey, you just, Jason Terry, for example, Jason Terry just commented on your post on LinkedIn. So what happens there is a moment when they see my name in their email, so I'm already top of mind because of that, Jason Terry, Blue Guru's top of mind. There's a dopamine hit potentially because I took the time to comment on their post and they might be thinking, oh, that was really nice of Jason to take the time to comment on my post. So I thought I'd walk through some of the emails that I get when people have commented on my post, just so you can see what it feels like on the recipient's end. This first one is Trent Peters, a good friend of mine. All of these people are good friends of mine because I'm connected with them on LinkedIn. So Trent said, hey, uh, Jonathan is doing a great job with these. I commented on the Testimonial Tuesdays that they've been doing for the Umbrella Company page on LinkedIn. Uh, Troy Wolf mentioned me because I had done a video on the Great Resignation and t taking care of your employees, and he commented on that. Uh, Stephanie Sage, I saw at a networking event. Um, at Callahan's on 87th and I just said after she posted her update, hey, it was a great, it was great to see you at the event. Um, Doug Hubler said, I feel the love. That was when I did my video, uh, Valentine's video, and I actually sang and played guitar on screen for the first time. <laughs> he was commenting to that. Uh, Ken Bramble's in a peer group of mine, Lambda Kai, fraternity brother of mine, and I commented on an update that he did and he was reaching back out to say, hey, thanks for that. And Dave Renz, another client um, that I had talked about in my video that week was about mentions on LinkedIn, and he loved that tip, and he commented on that. So all of these people reached back out on LinkedIn and said, hey, I got value out of the update that you did on LinkedIn, and it absolutely had that impact of me thinking, oh, thank you, Trent and Dave and Troy and everybody else, Stephanie, for taking the time to comment on the thing that I had put out there on LinkedIn. And last segue for this, I'll put this one up. This is Kristen Tyson saying, Jason Terry, you taught me everything I know about LinkedIn. Blue Gurus rocks. So I talked about that. That's the same mention one. And that's a great segue because I'm actually going to go into LinkedIn now and show you me doing a comment on an update from Kristen instead of doing a like. So here I am in my LinkedIn home feed and I stumbled onto an update from Kristen Tyson where she's saying, register today for an informative presentation on April 7th. And it's interesting to me. I've done a lot of work with Cross First Bank. I actually bank at Cross First Bank. And uh, I'm, so I'd like to comment on this. And so if I scroll down and get down to these reactions, there's been a few reactions to this update that she put out, but nobody has commented yet. And so I'm going to simply click on the comment button. Boom. I'm going to add my comment, which I've already pre-typed for the video. And then I'm going to click the blue post button. And out of the blue, Kristen will get an email from LinkedIn that says, hey, Jason Terry just commented on your update on LinkedIn. So imagine the difference with getting lumped into a whole bunch of reactions, thumbs up, applauses, or whatever, without names, 
versus Kristen for just a minute thinking, oh yeah, there's Jason, Blue Gurus. Oh yeah, they've done a lot of training for us for LinkedIn. Might need to dust off that conversation for this year. Whatever the deal is, at a minimum, it's staying top of mind with Kristen and genuinely caring about what she's talking about on LinkedIn. So that's my tip for you this week. A little adjustment in what you're doing in interaction on LinkedIn in the feed on your home feed could make a huge difference in how much you're staying top of mind with people over the next few months. I really encourage you to, every time you think about clicking the like button, ask yourself the question, could I actually comment on this and say something worth adding value, you know, say something that makes sense to this versus just clicking like. I hope you're having a great week. I'll see you next week.